It's just in ancient cool. times, there was a beautiful girl, the daughter of a good man, a woman among women, rare in her beauty and in the delicacy of her nature. When she was of marriageable age, three young men, each apparently of the highest capacity and of great promise, sought her hand. Father, seeing that each for an equal merit, left the final choice to her. But months passed, and the girl did not seem to be making up her mind. Then suddenly, one day, she fell ill. Within hours, she was dead. The young men, united in their grief, took her body to a cemetery and buried it in the deepest of silent agony. The first duke made the graveyard his home and spent his nights there in sorrow and meditation, unable to understand the workings of the fate that had taken her away. The second youth took to the roads and wandered throughout the world in search of knowledge as of that girl. The third young man spent his time in consoling the bereaved father. Now, the youth who had become a Thakur, in his journeyings came across a certain place where a man of repute and uncanny arts resided. Continuing his search for knowledge, he presented himself at the door and was admitted to the table of the master of the house. They were about to start the meal when a small child began to cry. It was the grandson of the wise man. The sage picked up the child and threw him into a fire. The Thakur jumped up and started to leave the house, crying out, Infamous demons! I have seen my share of the sorrows of the world already, but this crime surpasses those of all recorded history. There's nothing of it, said the master of the house. For simple matters appear otherwise when there is an absence of knowledge. And so saying, he recited a formula and waved the strange emblem. And the child walked up to the fire unharmed. The Fakur memorized the words in the device, and the next day was on his way back to the cemetery where his beloved was buried. In less time than it takes to tell, the maiden stood before him, wholly restored to life. The girl went back to her father, while the youths disputed as to which of them had earned her hand. The first said, I have been living in the graveyard, keeping through my vigil, contact with her, and guarding her spirit's need for earthly support. The second said, You both ignore the fact that it was I who traveled the world in search of knowledge, and who ultimately found the formula to restore her. The third said, I have grieved for her, and, like a husband and a son-in-law, I have lived here, consoling the father and helping with his upkeep. They appealed to the girl. She said, the one who found the formula to restore me was a humanitarian. The one who looked after my father acted as a son to him. The one who lay beside my grave, he acted like a lover. I will marry him. And that, my friends, is the story of the girl who came back from the dead. So, that's it.